process of making Tiffany's decorated face begins with molten glass at the end of a steel pipe. The 2000 degree glass is cooled and shaped using a wet wooden spoon called a block. Air is blown into the pipe to form a bubble. Another layer of glass is added. The bubble is rolled through particles of crushed colored glass. While shaping with a folded wet newspaper, a partner blows into the pipe to inflate the glass. The gold brown accent color is added on part of the bubble. A metal tool called the jacks is used to form a constriction called the shoulder line. This line is pulled out to stretch the glass forming the top of the vase which we call the neck. The jack line is another constriction formed at the head of the pipe. The piece is further inflated while the bottom is cooled using the back of the jacks. Reheating the glass in between steps is essential in allowing it to stay malleable. The newspaper is a great shaping tool. Because of its flexibility, it's almost like shaping the glass with your own hand. The bottom is flattened with a wooden paddle. A secondary pipe is attached. This pipe, with a small amount of glass shaped into a dome, is called the punty. Water is added to the jack line and the pipe is tapped to allow the glass to break free from the original pipe. It is inflated using a tool called the sofietta. Tweezers are used to pinch and stretch, thinning the glass. The top is flared open and another constriction is added. The top is stretched further to thin and elongate the neck. There is extra glass at the tip that must be discarded. After reheating, the final shaping of the top begins. The silver nitrate in the glass color has created a metallic surface. The neck continues to be stretched and elongated. The jacks are placed on the inside to flare the top. Final adjustments are made to finish the piece. Water is applied to the punty and the piece tapped off into Kevlar gloves. It is then placed into a kiln down slowly over the course of 12 hours.